Hey everyone, David here with Headset Advisor, and in this video, we are going to explain the differences between all of the new Yay Link wireless headsets. I'm going to show you what they're all about, how they differ, and everything you really want to know about them. We're also going to do a live microphone and speaker test. We've been getting a lot of comments lately on how well the microphones are performing for voice clarity and noise cancellation. So you're going to find out in this video how well that actually performs. So let's get started right now. All right, let's take a quick look at the specs um, of each of these headsets. So starting from my left here, we have the WH-62. It's available in mono or duo version. It has a noise canceling microphone and it has something called Yaylink Acoustic Shield. And that's what that active noise cancellation feature does, helps eliminate that background noise. It utilizes DECT 6.0 technology. You have USB and desk phone connectivity, so your Yay Link and Polycom phones. Two year warranty, an MSRP price of 169 and 199, depending upon if you get the mono or the duo version. Talk time is 13 hours or 14 hours, uh, mono and duo respectively. And the wireless range is 535 feet. Now looking at the WH-63, it's a super lightweight, um, over the ear, convertible headset, so you can wear it over the ear, over the head, or behind the neck. And it weighs only 0.67 ounces, so it's super, super lightweight. It's gonna be comfortable for all day use. Same thing, it has uh, the two built-in noise canceling microphones with that uh, acoustic shield. DEC 6.0, same connectivity as the WH-62. Two year warranty, 199 price. Now the battery life is less than the 62, at eight hours of talk time, and the range is almost 130 feet less as well. Now moving up to the WH-66, has the same specs as the WH-62, except it has a touch screen and it has Bluetooth connectivity, so you can connect it to your computers, desk phones, and mobile phones. And then the price is either 299 for the mono or 339 for the duo version, same battery life and same range as the WH-62. And then over on the last one, you have the WH-67, which is the same as the WH-63, except you have that touch screen, you have the connectivity to your computers, desk phones, and mobile phones. Uh, the MSRP price is 299 and then the same battery life and range as the WH-63. Now one cool thing about the WH-66 and 67 is that they actually have full working speaker phones built into the charging cradle here. So if your headset dies for some reason, you could just put the headset back on the cradle and actually uh, talk over the speaker phone. That's a nice feature to have. The WH-62 and 63, they do not have this speakerphone ability. They do have a little speaker on the charging base. However, it's not a full working speaker. It's just going to give you ringing. So, um, taking a quick broad overview here. So you have your WH-62. This is available in either mono or duo version. So you can get WH-62 mono or a WH-62 duo, which would just mean that you have two speakers instead of one. You have your WH-63 right here that is convertible. And looking at the different ways that you can wear this WH-63, as you see, it has this little earbud. So you can wear that as is, or you could switch out the earbud and you could wear a headband. You could wear it uh, behind the neck like that or you can wear it with an ear hook so it's even more comfortable when wearing it over the ear like that and you have quite a few options available as far as earbuds go so you're going to notice uh, you have small medium large right ear and left ear so you have quite a variety of wearing styles so you're going to be able to find this headset 
very comfortable. All right, now let's talk about connectivity. So if you look at the WH-62, it's going to be able to connect to your computers and also your Yealink desk phones or Polycom desk phones that have a USB port like you see here. You simply just plug in the headset to the USB port. And if you're using a Yealink phone, you'll get remote answering, which is typically an additional 50 or $60 charge on top of you know, your wireless headset purchase. So it's made for Yealink phones right out of the box. You can press a button and automatically answer and end the calls on your Yealink phones. So that is a nice feature to have. So you get the connection to your desk phone and also your computer built in with a price that's under $200 MSRP. And of course, if you're on our website, make sure you use coupon code YouTube. That's gonna get you the biggest discount uh, that we offer on these products, on all of them. I'll put a link to them on the video description below. So make sure you check them out if you're interested in any of these. And of course, we have bulk price discounts available if you're looking for more than 10 units. I'll put our contact information on the video description below, as well as on the screen here. So uh, feel free to reach out to us. All right, so these two models, the 62 and 63, they connect to your um, desk phones and computers, where the 66 and 67, they connect to your com the same two devices, so your desk phones, your con um, computers, and also your mobile phones via Bluetooth. So you can use one headset for all your communication needs. And it has that added speakerphone functionality, which is awesome. All right, so I wanna explain a little bit about Microsoft Teams. One cool thing about the 66 and 67 is um, if you look at the screens, they look different. And that's because this uh, 66 right here is set up for Microsoft Teams right now, where the 67, trying to get these model numbers right, um, 67 is set up for uh, what they call UC. But one cool thing about having the touch screen, and Yealink actually did a really good job with their touch screen, as you can actually get into the settings super easy, as you see here. You can go into advanced settings, and you can actually change a whole bunch of uh, features right from the screen menu. So what we get sometimes is companies won't allow you to download like Yealink software or the other brand software. So you're stuck with whatever settings the headset is set to. Where having this touch screen, you can manipulate almost every feature of this headset. So let's say for example, you ordered a UC model like this WH67. You can go into the settings and change it to a Microsoft Teams model right from the screen. So if you're using Microsoft Teams and your company doesn't allow you to download the software, you just switch it on the headset itself and boom, you get the optimization for Microsoft Teams. You get the remote answering, you get you know the dialing feature, uh, so many features for Microsoft Teams when you switch it into that mode. But if you don't use Microsoft Teams, you can set it how you see this screen here and it's not optimized for Microsoft Teams and just do your normal uh, soft phone type calls. All right, let's show you a couple of things about these headsets. So looking at the WH-63, and the same thing can be for the 62, has a small uh, charging stand, which is nice. It's small form factor, not gonna take up a lot of room on your desk. And then the connectivity options are two micro USB connections. Just taking that out here. Not sure you can see that, but there's two micro USB connections and a power plug. So when you plug in the micro USB to this side, you can connect to the computer. And then this one is for your desk phone, so micro USB to the USB port in your phone. So both of these connect up that way. Now looking at the WH-66, 
we have, same thing here, you have a USB-A port, it's actually USB 3.0 port uh, in there, and you have two U USB 3.0 ports on the side, so you can get your desk phone connection, and then you can also use the other one as a uh, USB hub, so if you wanna charge a mobile phone, you can plug it in. If you had an extra USB device that you needed to plug in, you could use this, you know, plug in your mouse and then it'll pass through to the computer. So you have a lot of options available for you um, with the, the connections on this headset. And the same thing with the WH-67 has the same connections as the WH-62. All right, and then you can actually add in an, an additional accessory uh, for an online indicator. So you can set a online indicator up on the desk or some location at, at your office or in your home, put it into the charging base. So in the back of the charging base here, it just plugs in with this uh, 2.5 millimeter port, plug into the charging base. And then that's gonna give you your busy light indication. We're not plugged into the computer right now, so it's not gonna turn on, but it knows if you're on an active call and then it will actually light up. So once we get it hooked up to the computer, we can show you that again. But just so you know, just so you're aware, there is that accessory available and that'll work on any of the models up here. There's also this uh, port on the side of the WH-66 and 67 and what this port does is um, they have a wireless charger so you can put your iPhone on this stand so it creates all of your equipment in one location, a, de a designated spot for your cell phone, keeps it out of your pocket, and it also charges it wirelessly. So it's a nice uh, accessory to consider getting as well. And I'll put a link to that in the vid video description here. All right, now let's take a quick look at the earpieces so we can see what they're all about. So here is the mono version of the WH-62 and 66. It has an adjustable headband here, so you can find a fit that is perfect for you. And it has a leather ear cushion, and it has this noise-canceling microphone boom. Now, if you're somebody who knows that they want to wear their headset uh, over the head like this, I would recommend getting the WH-62 instead of the 63 with the headband. Now, let me just show you how easy it is to put this headband on. So you see those, um, that design there matches up with the design on the headband. And you just put it on and rotate. So I would recommend getting the WH-62. Why? Because you get the longer range, the longer battery life, and the better speaker. So if you don't care about uh, wearing it over the ear, I definitely recommend going that way. But if you're purchasing for a team of people, it's hard to kind of find out what people's preferences are. So then you typically will end up going with the uh, WH-63. All right, now looking at the functionality here, you have your answer and end button. So if you have Microsoft Teams, you can press and answer the button. If a phone call comes in, just press it and then press it again to end the call. Same thing if you're connected to your desk phone, your headset will know when you have a phone call coming in, you can press that to answer it and to end it with that built-in uh, remote answering feature. You can also increase and decrease the volume here and then of course you have your mute button on the back of the earpiece so in case you need to ask somebody a question and you don't want you know, your customer, whoever you're talking to, to hear what you're saying, you simply press that to mute the microphone. Now looking at the WH-63, it has a touch sensitive part of the headset here so you can increase and decrease the volume 
you have your answer and end button. So for Teams or for soft phone calls, you have your mute button with this little red button there. So those are all the adjustments. And then of course, you can change out the earpiece like I showed you earlier. If I can get this off, you just have to find the right position. If, it do, if it's not set right, it will break, so it should just be easy like that. And you can also put it on a neckband. So in case you want to wear it with a neckband. You want to put the ear gel on there. So you can wear it like that behind the neck. I have it upside down, but you get what I'm doing here. So behind the neck, and you can wear it like that. All right, I definitely do not prefer the neckband, uh, just my personal preference, but some people don't wanna mess up their hair. So I totally get it. Now let me just put the headband back on. Okay, so the same earpieces are for the WH-63 and the WH excuse me, WH-66 and 67. But this is what the du Duo headband looks like. Rotates, has the same functionality as a single one. Increase, decrease volume. It does have this added pad at the top of the headband to help give it cushion because it is a little bit heavier. So it's gonna still be comfortable for all day use. Same buttons and all of that. All right, so now let's get to the fun stuff. Let's get to testing the microphones and the speakers on these headsets. All right, testing one, two, three. This is what the WH-62 sounds like. This is the mono version. I'm not gonna test the 66 um, duo or duo version of the 62, just because it's gonna all sound the same. I'm only gonna test the over the head model and then also the WH-63. So this is with no background noise going on. And as you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on on this table here. We got our blender here. It's gonna help us make some noise and so we can test the cancellation of this acoustic shield on Yealink. And then I also have a decibel reader here so you can see how loud it actually is in this environment. So right now there's no noise going on in this room. So the first test we're gonna do is we are going to test um, some office ambient noises. So talking, typing, that type of stuff. So you can see how much noise canceling this microphone does in those environments. And then we're gonna bump it up to the blender test in the background. So let's add in the background noise. All right, so this is how loud it is. The microphone is going through the camera. So there's no noise cancellation at all. This is how loud, I'll be quiet so you can see how much noise is in this room. All right, Jeff, now switch to the Yealink headset here. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. This is with the background noise going on. I'm gonna keep talking and just kind of move my head around just so you can get an idea of how much pickup range is, or pickup of the background this microphone is doing. And, and then I'll be quiet so you can see how much noise is still going on in this room. Now, as you see, it's still that 65 to 70 decibels in this room right now. So testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're going to bump this up to the blender test over here so that you can see how much noise canceling this does. All right, now this is with no noise cancellation. Now, now switch it to the Yealink. All right, so this is with the noise canceling microphone of the Yealink, the acoustic shield. You wanna be able to hear my voice loud and clear without distortion and of course, not that background noise. And this blender is right next to me. So let me be quiet so you can see the decibel reader. All right, it's trending around 74, 75 decibels in this room. So you get a good idea of how much noise is being canceled. All right, now this is what the WH-63 sounds like with no background noise on going on right now. So testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. This is what you can expect to sound like on the other end of a phone call or a Zoom meeting or a Microsoft Teams meeting. All right, so now let us play some background noise. As you see, it's around 65 to 70 decibels in here. This is going through the DSLR camera right now. Now switch over to the Yealink headset so we can see how much noise canceling 
this microphone is doing with that same noise in the background. And I'll be quiet so you can see if it picks up any of that background noise. All right, so that gives you a good test. Now let us step it up a notch. Now before I do that, um, the speaker or the volume is actually coming out of the speaker of the WH67 right now. So that's kind of the power of um, having that speakerphone built right into the headset for the price right around 300 bucks. You get a really good value. And let me just pause this really quick. Make sure if you're going to order any of these, use coupon code YouTube, and there's a link in the video description below. We also have bulk price discounts, so reach out to us if you need more than 10 units. All right, now let us test the blender in the background here. This is how loud it is on the DSLR camera. Now switch to the Yay Link. So this is how much noise is being picked up on the Yay Link with the blender literally right next to me at that 74 decibel rating. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. All right. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we are gonna play music out of the speaker here, so then you can keep an eye on the decibel rating as well. And then we'll switch to the WH-62. This is the WH-63. Jeff, go ahead and play. All right, so what did you think of the performance of the microphone and speakers on these devices? Put your thoughts in the comment section below. My quick recap here, the 62 and 63 are the entry level wireless headsets by Yealink. They did a great job keeping the price down, but the performance up. And also you get the added feature of connecting to your Yealink desk phones and getting that remote capability uh, built right out of the box without any additional accessories, which is going to save you money. So again, you simply plug it into your Yealink desk phone that has a USB port and you can answer and end calls wirelessly up to that 500 feet away from your corded desk phone or your Microsoft team calls 500 feet away from this charging base. So that gives you a lot of wireless freedom. So again, it's packed into a you know small price, but you get all of these features. And these are all decked 6.0 wireless headsets, so it gives you that long wireless range, but it connects to your computers via USB cable, and then of course your desk phones. And then the 66 and 67 have Bluetooth functionality, so you could pair up your mobile phone. You know, it has to be within about 30 feet of this charging base but now you can take that mobile phone call wirelessly up to 500 feet away and answer and end calls from your mobile phone. And it also has that built-in speaker phone right there on the charging base, so you're gonna get um, that backup option in case your headset battery dies or you forgot to leave it on the charger. Now deciding which model to go with, I would lean towards the 62 over the 63 if you know specifically how you wanna wear the headset. So for example, this headset can only be worn over the head with one speaker. So if you know that's the way that you're gonna to wanna to wear the headset, I would recommend going with the WH-62 Mono over the 63 with a headband. Now why? Well, because you get um, almost double the talk time and the battery life, you get uh, an extra 100 feet of wireless range, or at least 50 feet. And um, you're gonna get a better speaker as they have to make the WH-63 super lightweight, 
so the speaker is not going to be as good as there's not enough space in there to produce as good of a speaker and they're trying to conserve battery life so you're just not going to get as well of a speaker with the wh63 but that being said the wh63 is going to be the more popular model just because when you're ordering headsets for your employees your staff or for a group of people it's hard to decide which one people prefer because then you have to survey them or ask them and if you force them into a dedicated option like the 62 you're going to have some people complain that it's not comfortable they don't want to mess up their hair or whatever the reason is so you buy the 63 just for convenience sake just my two cents on the matter um you know that's just what i think now moving on to the 66 and 67 now these are both uh connecting to your desk phones computers and your mobile phones so that you can answer all of those from one headset so it really makes it convenient and easy and um gives you that speakerphone ability so if you need those extra you know the bluetooth connection or that backup to uh with the speakerphone these are a great choice you know it's only about a hundred dollars more to get this full touch screen that you can adjust all of the settings right there and the touch screen works surprisingly well so you um, know that you're getting a good quality product and you're not going to have to deal with some clunky you know touch screen technology so they yay link did a great job on designing and developing their first line of fully wireless headsets so kudos good job yay link you did a great job on these if you're interested in any of these products they're available on our website make sure you use coupon code youtube all one word and that's going to get you the best deal i'll put a link to them in the video description below I really hope that you enjoyed this video, this comparison, and hope it explained some of the features and differences between the different models. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to text me directly. I'll put the text number on the screen here. That comes to me directly. I will respond. Otherwise, you can contact our team. I'll put that information in the video description below. Other than that, hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks a lot for tuning in. We'll see you next time.